What's going on, Gas Gang? Today we are back with an absolute banger, lining up three all-wheel drive beasts to go head-to-head -head with one another. Today is old-school JDM Madness, and finally, the Integra's out for its first official shakedown. You do not want to miss this one, so stay tuned and let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gas. So welcome back once again to what is a benchmark race for myself and the Integra. After all the ups and downs and the emotional ride so far, the car is ready for its first official shakedown. And we are jumping in right at the deep end. We've made it to the battlegrounds to see how she compares against two other legendary factory all-wheel drive cars, both running crazy setups and higher power. Today, it's Evo, Impreza and Integra, and it's gonna be mad. And in partnership with the best in the business, Race Logic, we're going to be carrying out two sets of races. First up today is a quarter mile roll race. Next up is a drag race to the quarter mile. All races are best of three, and the V Box Performance Box Touch will be recording data such as 0 to 60s, quarter mile times, and more to give you guys the stats on how these savage builds perform. Let's get over and meet the cars and their owners. So first up today, and representing for the all-wheel drive Honda boys, that's right, it's me, and my 620 brake horsepower, two litre inline four turbo powered Honda Integra DC5 Type R. Built by Autotalk and tuned by Romain at Racecal. So modifications include a fully built CSS K20A2 engine, Supertech valve springs and Skunk 2 valves, a Speed Factory Sidewinder manifold and Pulsar T51R GTX 3582R turbo, a big external custom fuel system, a fly-by-wire conversion, a complete custom all-wheel drive conversion with full wagon running gear, insane 1000 horsepower drive shafts, a Quave sequential gearbox and fully built billet drag cartel transfer box, the cars mapped by Romain from Racecal on a Cyvex S7 ECU. So the car's running on 808 RS semi-slick street tyres all round and is estimated to weigh in at around 1270 kg with the additional turbo kit and all-wheel drive conversion, giving it a power to weight ratio of 488 brake horsepower per tonne. The car drives all four of its wheels via its five-speed Quave sequential gearbox. And next up, representing for the Subaru fanboys, it's Harry piloting his killer 705 brake horsepower, 2.35 litre flat four Hawkeye Subaru Impreza WRX STI, built and tuned by Engine Tuner. Modifications include a fully built EJ22 2.35 litre stroker engine, a Borg Warner EFR 9180 turbo kit, a Wharton Motorsport front mount exhaust manifold and 3.5 inch exhaust system, a Medina 6 speed sequential gearbox and is mapped on a Cyvex S6 Plus ECU by Martin at Engine Tuner. So the Scooby's running on AR1 semi-slick street tyres all round and is estimated by Harry to weigh in at 1400 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 503 brake horsepower per tonne. The car drives all four of its wheels via its six speed Medina sequential gearbox. And last, but certainly not least, Introducing Mark, representing for the Mitsubishi fanboys, with his 650 brake horsepower, 2.2 litre inline four powered Mitsubishi Evo 8 MR, built by Wayne Hodgson and tuned by DRW Performance. So, modifications on this bad boy include a 2.2 litre fully forged engine, a precision 5558 big runner turbo kit, a 50mm external wastegate, an AMS inlet manifold, a HKS fuel rail and 1000cc injectors, a S90 throttle body, Tomei Pong cams, an RS rear differential and five speed gearbox conversion, and is mapped on a Link G4 Plus ECU by the lads at DRW Performance. The car is running on R888 semi slick street tyres all round and is estimated by Mark to weigh in at around 1380 kg, giving him a power to weight ratio of 471 brake horsepower per tonne. The Evo drives all four of its wheels via its H pattern manual five speed gearbox. Mark, welcome to the channel, mate. Thanks for inviting me down. You're welcome, mate. Uh, look, we've got three powerful cars here today. Uh, they all mean business. And uh, I want to know your expectations on, you know, the flow of the day. Quarter mile drag race, quarter mile roll race. How do you reckon it's going to go down? To be fair, with you both running sequential, I 
probably not going to get anywhere on the roll, but I'll try my hardest. That's it. I'm hoping it might be a little bit different on a quarter, depending on how I get off of the launch, basically. Okay, okay. Are you but, confident? Are you are you confident? Yeah, I can drive my car, so I'm good hoping man. so. I'm good hoping man. that's going to be a good race. To it's going to be a good race. Well, listen, mate, good luck. Yeah, and cheers. let the best man win. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> Wicked. Harry, welcome to the channel, mate. Thanks, uh, thanks for inviting me, Jamie. Mate, you're welcome. Look, you, you've got an absolute beast here. I mean, the most power today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're at 705 horsepower. We've got a six-speed sequential gearbox. Yeah. Um, we see how it does against competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, look, it's a, it's a really nice car. It's got all the gear. But how do you reckon that's going to translate in this race? Quarter mile drag race, quarter mile roll race. How do you reckon it's going to go? I've uh, never done a quarter in it, so it'll be a first time. Okay. Never launched it, so again, it'll be a first time. Okay. So it's a learning curve. We, we see how it does, but yeah, I'm here to leave the competition, fingers crossed. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, bro, listen, it's going to be great whatever happens. We're here for the love of it. And yeah, um, yeah man, let the best man win. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. Cheers. <laughs> right, guys. So, as you know, I usually do the interviewing. However, I'm involved in today's racing. Yes, finally, we have got the tag up and fighting fit. For how long, who knows? But I'm going to send it. We've got some serious competition here. Look. I want to say I'm the underdog. These are all the excuses. I'm the least power right now. However, I have got a sequential gearbox. Uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the Scooby's got a sequential and more power. So he's the one I'm really, really worried about. Launch control is still a bit of a madness. We're, we're just going to go with the flow with this one, guys. So wish me luck. And as I've said to the others, let the best man win. So we have some serious builds stepping up today, all battling it out for the revered Sugar Coat Cup and a set of its super sweet smelling, ultra effective ceramic waterless washes. First up today is the roll races, but before we get cracking, let's hear what these beasts sound like. <laughs> Guys, this is absolutely mental. We are doing it, our first official race in the Teg. And um, yeah, I can't say I'm not nervous because I am nervous, but I believe in the car. I believe in auto talk. So the idea for this one is for one car to set pace, get to a pre-agreed speed. And as soon as they hit the start marker, it's go time. Place your bets. All right, lads, let's get rolling slowly. Yeah, we'll get to 40 and race from the line, yeah? All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, here we go. After a crazy run down the strip, the all-wheel drive Integra does me proud and takes the win, beating the Scooby to the line by around two and a half car lengths. The Evo crosses the line in third position, just off pace that time. Let's line them back up and go again. Oh man, this is crazy. That Subaru is fast, but I'm telling you, you can't knock the Honda. Oh, 
open. And in another mad run, the Scooby manages to pull one back, just beating me to the line by around half a car length. The Evo once again comes in last, two cars behind me. It's one to me and one to the Scooby. Let's line back up for a decider. Let's get it. Right lads, all happy and good? All right. Let's go. And in another epic, ultra close tear up between me and the Scooby, I just managed to edge it, beating the Scooby to the finish line by around a car length. The Evo, once again slightly outgunned, makes it to the finish line last, around three car lengths behind the Scooby. So let's check out the 100 to 200 kph data from the V-Box PBT and the quickest times achieved by the cars from the runs. And the mighty Integra goes 100 to 200 the fastest in a time of just 5.20 seconds. The Scooby comes in a close second running 100 to 200 kph in just 5.46 seconds and the Evo runs 100 to 200 in a respectable time of 6.60 seconds. Data to back up the results. And round one goes to me and the OG Tech. Next up is the drag races, and I'm now well and truly in uncharted territory. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In another legendary race, the monstrous Scooby makes it to the finish line first, beating me by about a car length. 
Oh man, the Evo unfortunately just off pace again comes in last position around three cars behind me. My car seemed to suffer a slight glitch cutting power momentarily a few times whilst running down a strip there, possibly losing me the race. Hey ho, let's line them back up and go again. And once again, that killer Scooby takes off down the strip, beating me to the finish line by a bus length. The Evo starts strong also, and after a terrible start from me, I managed to fight my way back to second position, beating him to the line by around two car lengths. And that was all she wrote. So let's just take a quick look over at the OG Battles all-wheel drive 0-60 manual leaderboard and as you can see the Scooby goes the fastest, dropping into second position with a crazy 0-60 time of just 2.82 seconds. I drop into fourth position with an ultra proud sub 3 second time of 2.93 seconds and the Evo drops in just behind me in fifth position with a rapid 0-60 of 3.04 seconds. Then taking a look over at the manual all-wheel drive quarter mile leaderboard, one once again, the Scooby proves to be minutely the fastest car, dropping into third position, running the quarter mile in 10.61 seconds at a speed of 136 miles per hour. I drop into fourth position on the board, right behind him, running a quarter mile in an ultra close 10.62 seconds at a slightly lower trap speed of 132 miles per hour. The Evo drops into ninth position on the board with a time of 11.25 seconds at a speed of 125 miles per hour. And round two goes to Harry and the crazy Subaru. So looking back at an epic first shakedown with the Ted going up against some awesome builds, the day ends in a draw with the rolls going to me and the drags going to the Subaru. The Evo puts up a great fight even with the disadvantage of a H-pattern manual gearbox and sends it hard from the launches. But today just seemed to be slightly outgunned. I can honestly say today has been an epic first run out in a Teg and it runs strong. The slight glitch with my Honda on the first drag race transpired to be an intermittent sensor fault but it still runs rapid times considering and not to mention a complete lack of seat time. A massive shout out to Mark and Harry for stepping up alongside me and laying rubber today. So guys, let me know which one of the builds is your favourite and which one you'd prefer outside on your drive. Also remember to go treat your cars to some sugar coat, the best and sweetest ceramic waterless washes on the market and save 20% off all products using my special code OG20. Links below in the description, thank me later. And with that said, if you have enjoyed today's video, remember to go show your support by smashing that subscribe button. Also, hit that notifications bell so you never miss a race. And we'll be back, same time, same place, with another insane OG battle. Peace out. <laughs>